Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here at Kuari Lake, and it is a cloudy and somewhat cool evening. And I want to just go ahead, before I go any further, I want to thank a person that was nice enough and kind enough to give me a couple things that's really going to help out, and I want to check them out to see how they work. But there's a gentleman or maybe a woman, I'm not sure, <laughs> it's actually kind of a neutral name, but Sibbins was able to give me some night crawlers and a lure that I, from what I understand is extremely good for catching uh, quarry char, char, arctic char, that type of thing. But let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let me go to my lures here. It's this one right here, and this one's supposed to be like a major killer when it comes to catching these fish here. The Hunter 1-002. Really have been wanting to get that one, and I am just seriously excited to try it out. Another thing uh, that that person provided was some Nightcrawlers, 60 of them. See, apparently you can't get them to level 20. So once I ran out, I was out. I mean, there was no getting them. And, I, and they gave me some mayfly larvae. Never tried that. And float fishing is not something that I've really tried with these guys. So this is going to be a little different for me if I do that. I might try on, uh, feeder fishing with them first just to see what they do. And But I think the biggest thing is I'm going to try these night crawlers out. Now that it's morning, I'm going to go ahead and get my feeder rods out. And I think I had this set up for trolling originally. So I'm going to put these palmers back in sp the spot. And go ahead and pull them out here. Whenever it gets around to it. Yeah, I was fishing for carp earlier today. Let me go ahead and put some bait in here. And I am going to throw a night curler on this one. And we're going to see what we shall see. I'm going to throw it out here in the burbot hole. We'll let it sink all the way to the bottom and then we'll put it down. And on my other one, I think I'm going to give that one the mayfly larva just to see what if anything may go on it. Let me get my retrieval speed up to 30 and my friction brake, yeah, it's good enough. And we'll throw that one out there as well. And then we're going to pull out this one. And we're going to give that new... Uh-oh. Something's already after that one. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Anyway, we're going to put this lure on here. And we're going to see just what we can do with this. All right. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled here. Let it sink a little bit. I'm going to ch change my retrieval speed about 20. And we'll do a stop and go. I've been told this is the lure of lures when it comes to the char here. Sibbins, I really appreciate that. That is so nice. And I want to be sure I gave you a shout out. There we go. First bite. Okay, it's not huge, but it is not teeny either. So let's see what we got here. Come 
Come on in here, little fella. Oh, wow. That is a nice grayling. I don't think he's heavy enough for the cafe, but there was... The cafe is looking for grayling. I do know that. Well, he's pretty. That's a pretty fish. Throw that out there again. Yeah, I haven't fished for these species before, so I'm very much on a learning curve here. And what they do and don't like. I haven't been doing... whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> now there was a fish interested in. He came up to the surface, but he didn't come after soon enough there. There we go. Now we got us a good fish. A little more tension on that. Ooh, he is going to fight me. He is going to fight me. Yes, I love it. I love it. This is cool. This is cool. Come on, fish. Now, this is a pretty tough rod, and this is a pretty heavy line, so he'll give up. He'll give up. Come on, fella. I want to see what you are. It might be another grayling. It's hard to tell, though. No, it's a decent lake trout. That's not bad. That's not a bad lake trout, guys. I've been looking for a pretty good lake trout for a while here. Nice, nice, nice. Get an old snapshot here for Mr. Fishy. And we'll keep him. I think I might just let that sink to the bottom here for a second. And I'm going to come over here because there has been nothing biting off these feeder rods. So I think I might... Bring these in. Maybe throw them in a different location this time. I think I'll throw this one over here. Wow. Something definitely went after number three here. That was suddenly and abrupt. Let's see what we got here, guys. I was about to think they weren't going to go for these things. At least on feeder rods. What did we get here, guys? Oh, 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 nice, 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 nice char. Like that. Nice, nice XP here, guys. Yes, the mayflies are for real, guys. They are for real. Let's toss that right back out there where it was. Big time. Thank you, my friend. I am greatly appreciated. Alright, I'm just going to leave those to do what they do, I guess. <laughs> Go ahead and start reeling this one in here. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, 
I'm thinking if I can purchase mayflies, I think I'm going to be purchasing some more because that was a awesome response. I'm going to come over here and wait a minute. Which one's which? Let me pick up the second one. Yeah, this is the Nightcrawler. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. Is there something on this? I don't think so. I guess it's just kind of a heavy bait. I'm going to go throw it a little more shallow because the, being cloudy... See if there's anything closer to shore that might be. The other rod is too close. Yeah, we'll put that one there. And this one with the whoa. Okay, there was something on this. It's not huge. didn't so much as jingle, loosen, or even move. I wonder what the heck happened here. Must be a small fish or what? I don't know. No, it's not small. Pretty decent char. Especially XP. Nice, nice, nice. We'll keep him. Oh, sounds like we've got some activity over here off the wine. May have been the right thing to do to bring it in closer to the shore here. I can't really tell how big he is. Alright, now nah, he's not a monster by any means, but... Not a bad common roach, though. That's not bad. Yeah, I think a lot of the things like Ide and Bream will might be closer in here to shore. So I was kind of hoping that I might have a little luck. Whoops. It's not the one I wanted to hit. There's three. Yeah, I'm going to put this mayfly. Well, now it's sunny, so that could change a lot here, guys. That could change up things quite a bit. And I'm going to throw this over here, because I'm just kind of curious what the mayfly might do over on this side of things. Yeah, when things start getting quiet off to the side, that's when I usually feel like I need to move. When things are getting a little too quiet. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bring these in, and then we might just have to jump on the boat. Do a little boat fishing. Before I go on the boat, I'm going to come over here. To the cafe, I think it's right here. Yeah. My grayling is big enough. I'll be damned. Alright, let's see if we can't sell him. That was 17 gold right there. Or silver, I mean. Let's see, anything else here I've got? Uh, no. If you need six pieces of that, eight pieces of that. One, uh, one, one out of the bunch isn't bad. And wow. Ooh, it looks like I had one still in my storage. But $4 for that lake trout. That's not bad. $10 for that one. 4 for that one. Even the common roach is not bad. Alright, let's sell them all. 
I must have been playing and forgot about that one. I don't know. It's something that's easy to do. Something that's unfortunately kind of easy to do. And it went bad. Oh, I gotta get a ticket. I thought my boat license was still good. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a full five day boat rental because I like to switch it off so looks like that one fish just paid for my boat. I think what I'm gonna do here is stop the boat for the moment. We're going to pull out our other, i tell you what, I might do a little experimentation here. I'm going to bring out my walrus stick here. And, now wait a minute, let's bring the, see my walrus stick. And then put the other heavy rod over here. Let's see. You can use three rods out here. You just have to do it in a special way. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're going to put this lure on this one. second rod we're gonna put the other one that's like that and then we're gonna get our warver stick out when time comes now first Go ahead and get this thing going. Turn this boat around. And head off into the sunset. Let's see. Literally. <laughs> Literally heading off into the sunset. Just curious how these two lures are going to do on this trolling. Northern Rift. This is where we're starting to get to a deep area. Do a little bit of a stop and go with the boat. Never mind, I have some activity here. More than a little bit. Oh wow. This guy is serious. Yeah, but he's coming. Give him a little bit of leeway, not too much. Okay, I'm going to put a little more tension on him. Yeah, this is kind of touch and go, guys. Even with this heavier line, this is a big fish. So he is going to give me a little bit of trouble. Anytime they do that, it always worries me because that's when they usually get off a damn line. I 
Alright, I'm going to give him a little bit more leeway. Yeah, that's the thing. You just really got to play with that tension. If he starts pulling too much, give it a little more. And eventually he'll start to tire. And he's starting to get tired. Come on, fella. Do not want to lose you. You little pain in the butt. Okay. See, if I loosen it up, he's going to get... Come on, you bugger. That's the trouble. My energy level is not good either. Okay, I'm going to have to take the chance because I have got to get some energy. coffee at all. And my energy is in the toilet. Alright guys, I might have to pause it here. This is going to take a little while. I cannot get my energy up, so this is not going to go fast. Holy crap, guys. There he is. There he is. That is a nice, nice lake trout. Nice lake trout. Wow. Fought him for a while. Four kilograms. Not bad at all. You got the tipsy bonus. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get us a picture of this big fella. That's the best lake trout I've caught, guys. Honest to God, that's the biggest one I've caught just so far. I know the XP isn't good, but that's as good as some of the others, but I am pleased with him. And he is a pretty fish. Alright, guys. I think that is enough for one episode, because my energy is in the toilet. I'm going to come over here and probably set things up for do some feeder fishing off the island and maybe start making another episode who knows we'll see anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and always remember guys aim straight cast far and have fun and i will see you later bye bye